going into this just overtime frame, what did you guys as a team discuss and just kind of what was the main point of emphasis that kind of helped you guys pull this one out down the stretch? CT said it. Uh, T.Y. said it. Let's, let's get kills. And the kill for us is three stops in a row. And we started that um, that overtime with three stops in a row allowed us to get out and make some shots. Um, and that's what our defense and that's what our standards is. We want to get stops at the end of the game. And we didn't get stops all the way through the game. But those fourth quarter, that second quarter, 21 points. I believe the fourth quarter, we held them 21 points. And then overtime, we just had to be resilient, stay with our game plan. And Nick was huge uh, with those block shots. And then everybody coming back and getting rebound. You mentioned Nick, and Nick was battling the nasal fracture with the mask, without the mask. Just what did you see from him, especially with that block to end regulation, the blocks that he had in that overtime frame? Yeah, he's just mentally tough. Um, even goes back when, you know, he was back home in the Milwaukee game. He came back and, and flew in when he was sick. So just showing leadership. He's showing that he's a, he's a leader and captain of our team. And, you know, we need guys to continue to step up and be that and not just talk about it, but be about it. He's showing it with action, not just only words. So very proud of him, just very proud of the team. Um, everybody came in, everybody was still locked in, no matter what decisions I made, um, what rotations I went in, everybody was locked in, and that's what the team is all about. Defensively, just besides Nick's plays, I think Schroeder had a steal that led to the play before Nick had the block. Doe with the steal that pretty much sealed the game. Just mm -hmm. how big was it on a night where Cam and Poole go off that your defense was the key that won this game? How big was that? Oh, that's big. That's what we've been working for all year, and that's what we've been, you know, telling our guys. And, you know, they're getting some fruit for their labor, and that's what it's all about. You just never know when it's going to blossom. Um, but you got to keep planting seeds, and that's what they're doing. But I just love their energy, talking, pointing. That's how we keep throwing punches. And Poole was going off. He was he was having fun out there, but we got Cam Thomas, and I knew we would get stops at the end, and that's exactly what we did. Kevin, obviously you don't want the Wizards shooting 50% of the field, but, you know, to the point you just made, what was it just, at the end of the day, like watching good basketball, was watching good basketball, and what do you think of that duel between Cam and Jordan tonight? Um, yeah, it was. I mean, that's... That's cool. Uh, it was great basketball. Um, you know, CT did a great job first half court mapping, uh, too. And then when he started getting double, he was getting off the ball, too. So that just shows growth in him. Um, I believe he has six assists at, at halftime. So it just shows growth with uh, CT and how he's getting better. And you have matchups like that, but <clears throat> everybody knows, and I think, you know, a lot of people go to the park and just say, let's play one-on-one. -on -one. This game is five-on-five. And you got to understand that you can have a duel, but it's still four other teammates out there. And we did a good job um, in overtime finding our other teammates. If CT couldn't get it, CT got to the basket a couple times, didn't get the call, but we got back on defense and got the stops. Definitely don't like 50%, um, but I'm going to take a win when we can get it in the NBA.